हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू गीकर मैक विंडोज़ इलेवन के बी फिफ्टी फोर वन फाइव एट फाइव अपडेट ब्रेक्स द बूट सेटअप फॉर विंडोज एंड लाइन एक्स इन योर डिवाइस विद दिस एर मैसेज दोज यूजर्स हु हैव नॉट फाइनलाइज द अपडेट बाई डूइंग अ री स्टार्ट कैन फॉलो इंस्ट्रक्शन कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो टू फिक्स द इशू इन केस यू हैव फाइनलाइज द अपडेट दैन यू नीड टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट स्टेप्स सजेस्टेड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द स्टेप्स एंड फिक्स द इशू बट बिफोर यू मूव फॉरवर्ड इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल इन एनी वे Please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Before you start, I would like to tell you that I'm not using the dual boot. So in this video, I will share all the necessary information about what you need to do. The first step is to disable secure boot on your PC. Either try its steps covered by Microsoft on their official page or head over to manufacturer website to learn how to disable it because all of them offer step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Doing this will allow you to boot into the Linux. Now you need to open the terminal and execute this command. You will be asked to enter the root password. After that, boot into the Linux again. Now you need to verify as pat revocation. For that in the terminal, you need to execute this command. Make sure the list shows no revocations. After doing this, you need to re-enable the secure boot. Again follow the same instructions suggested by Microsoft or the manufacturer website. The next thing you need to do is verify the secure boot status. For that boot into Linux and execute this command. The output should be secure boot enabled. Now you have to prevent future as bad update in Windows. For that boot into Windows and open command prompt with admin rights and execute this command. This command will add output diver 32 bit value under as bad registry key. At this point you should be able to dual boot Linux or Windows like before. So try these steps to fix the Linux dual boot issue and if you experience any issue then feel free to share in the comments I will try to assist you. For frequent updates on the issue check the blog post added in the description. So that's all about this video if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notification about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.